Three London clinic workers who are under investigation by management over claims they tried to access Kate Middleton's private medical records are believed to have been suspended. The trio all work at the prestigious private hospital where the Princess of Wales had abdominal surgery earlier this year, and where King Charles was treated for an enlarged prostate before being diagnosed with cancer. The Princess of Wales is believed to have been told about the potential data breach. The King's private medical information was not affected. Aside from a statement put out by bosses at the clinic, it has refused to answer questions on the status of the staff and when the investigation began, although all three are believed to have been suspended. The Information Commissioner's Office, ICO, says it is investigating the incident as the clinic itself says it will take all appropriate steps to investigate the alleged breach. It is also believed the police could probe the allegations, with one government minister claiming the Met Police has been asked to look at it, although the force says it is not aware of any referral as of yet. The CEO of the London Clinic has vowed all appropriate investigatory, regulatory and disciplinary steps will be taken as it investigates the data breach claims. Its chief executive, Al Russell, finally broke his silence this afternoon, saying in a statement, Everyone at the London Clinic is acutely aware of our individual, professional, ethical and legal duties with regards to patient confidentiality. We take enormous pride in the outstanding care and discretion we aim to deliver for all our patients that put their trust in us every day. We have systems in place to monitor management of patient information and, in the case of any breach, all appropriate investigatory, regulatory and disciplinary steps will be taken. There is no place at our hospital for those who intentionally breach the trust of any of our patients or colleagues. A spokesperson for the clinic told ITV News that they would not comment further other than to say all our patients, no matter what their status, deserve total privacy and confidentiality regarding their personal medical information. The princess is said to be aware of the allegations, while a spokesperson for Kensington Palace said, this is a matter for the London Clinic. The ICO said on Wednesday, we can confirm that we have received a breach report and are assessing the information provided. It is claimed that the police could investigate the claims alongside the ICO's probe, with a source telling the mirror, the IOC will deal with anything as a criminal matter which could end up in a magistrate's court. But if there were further claims of wrongdoing such as a conspiracy to distribute illegally accessed information, then that could be a matter for the police. The Metropolitan Police has said it is not aware of any referral to the force regarding the incident at this time. However, Health Minister Maria Caulfield said she understood police have been asked to look at it. Speaking to Sky News, she said the allegations were pretty serious stuff. She said, I say this as someone who's still on the nursing register, that the rules are very, very clear for all patients.
that unless you're looking after that patient, or they've given you their consent, you should not be looking at patient's notes. So there are rules in place and the information commissioner can levy fines, that can be prosecutions, your regulator, so as a nurse my regulator would be the NMC, Nursing and Midwifery Council, can take enforcement action, and can strike you off the register if the breach is serious enough. So there are particularly hefty implications if you are looking at notes for medical records that you should not be looking at. When asked if the Met Police should also be looking into the matter, she said, My understanding is that police have been asked to look at it. Whether they take action is a matter for them. According to the 2018 Data Protection Act, it is an offense to obtain or disclose personal data without the consent of the controller. A spokesperson for the General Medical Council, which is the watchdog for doctors, told The Telegraph, patients must have confidence that their personal information is protected at all times. Our guidance is clear. We expect doctors to make sure any personal information about patients is effectively protected at all times against improper access, disclosure or loss and they must not access a patient's personal information unless they have a legitimate reason to view it. John Baines, a data protection specialist from the law firm Mishkan Derea, told ITV News, Any investigation by the ICO is likely to consider whether a criminal offense might have been committed by an individual or individuals. Section 170 of the Data Protection Act 2018 says that a person commits an offense if they obtain or disclose personal data without the consent of the controller. Here, the controller will be the clinic itself.